Okay, so this is just a quick update. Um, while I still have breath, but I will probably lose it in a second. So you see a knife here, um, which isn't terribly sharp anymore. Um, not just because of the knife, but in general, I liked the idea of having an ultrasonic cutter at home. But if you want to buy one, it's 300 to 400 bucks up. So the cheapest one are like between 300 and 400 and I decided that's a bit too much. So let's try to make this, uh, to take this and take one of these, which is a uh, ultrasonic piezo, um, ultrasonic, piezo, yeah, I said ultrasonic twice, yay, twice ultrasonic, that's, what is that, supersonic, I don't know. Um, transducer which is basically an ultrasonic speaker for 40 kilohertz and to drive it I will not just use a normal audio amp I will just use this <laughs> a dual H bridge or in my case I will probably just use one of the H bridges or use them in parallel whatever works um, I will use that to drive the um, transducer with an Arduino so this thing I looked it up it can do up to a hundred kilohertz PWM frequency so it shouldn't have a problem with 40 kilohertz and well 35 what 35 is a bit much maybe even for this this thing is rated for 3 amps continuous so well we will see what it says to <laughs> a very quick change of direction so yeah, I hope it does not have a a thing built in that prevents rapid changes of direction. That would really suck. But yeah, maybe I can just use the other H bridge then. So it should work. It should work. I mean, if you can drive a stepper motor really fast with it, it should work for our transducer. So I'm going to put this somewhere on here. So what I thought is I make a cut here. Um, try to bend it up so I have a bigger surface area that I can glue onto the transducer because just gluing this tiny portion here would probably just fall off if you try to wiggle it around so yeah I want to keep some stability I don't have any um, epoxy here so I will just try it with normal industrial glue or something which might work or might not work but yeah if it it's just for testing if it works for a few minutes and then falls off that that's enough to for me to just get epoxy and do it properly at least so it works i thought if i if i cut it here and make a bend here too and here i have such a a relatively short um knife then but i could keep the handle but I thought to myself, why why not just like, well, face it off with <laughs> whatever I have, like uh, probably a file, I'll just file it down, and then glue that to the other side. Might work too, we will see. <laughs> so I think I will just, yeah, m make a cut here. Maybe I can just also cut away the plastic. But yeah, that's the next project I thought. And I'm kind of excited for it because yeah I'm not gonna spend 300 bucks on a ultrasonic cutter which is then the size of um, like kind of like this this is all you get in knife space if you buy one of these expensive ones and <laughs> the ultrasonic transducer is like well what else do I have here that's kind of the size of such a transducer that they have uh, nothing oh yeah this that's kind of <laughs> if you minus the motor that's kind of what you have than the hand so actually it's it's more like just this part on the knife and then a cable sticking out i mean i will have a cable too but <laughs> i i will have a bigger knife so i can actually cut things with it and not just tiny things for model planes or something.
but yeah that's it for now we will see each other again probably when the stuff arrives and i just ordered it and today is the 23rd um may so when will it arrive probably <laughs> in july or something but yeah that's it bye